Gaffer, it's a disappointing 3 0 defeat today. Just how do you sum the game up? Yeah, look, I'm massively disappointed, you know, after having a good little run to lose the game. You know, there were some like, key times, key moments in the game, you know, they, they had a lot of the ball. Scored, like, we like to see the goal back the first one, looks a right scruffy goal, like a cross that just seems to trickle in the net. Uh, and then obviously JJ has been outstanding for us this season. We get a penalty, and, and then obviously we the same. Then we've had a chance with Angelo uh, in that first half as well. So we've had chances. And then the second goal right on half time is a right killer. You know, a real killer for us. But uh, they're still positives. They're still positives. Second half, being done on the counter, that's a cheap goal. We've got to defend that one, that one thing. But we stuck at it, we created a few half chances at the end, not really massively. But I just said the lads there, we've had three really good games. You know, it's the best run since I've came here. Performances. Once you once you break any run, you've got to then go out and start another run, and that's the key messages. We kind of feel sorry for ourselves. Now we're going to be in on Thursday to train to prepare, ready for the for the next game, which is getting easy. Yeah, and just I know you touched on it, but how big are those game-changing moments you mentioned with the penalty and, and with uh, Capello's chance as well? Just how how much could they have changed the game? I mean, it, it really is that simple, isn't it? It's. Yeah, look, if the, go, if the ball goes in, it's like every goals change game. It's a cliche, everybody knows it, you know, so we'll never know. You'll never know, but you know, like, I've said the lads there, in there, though, we've created chances. What we've got to do is learn from key areas that we're conceding that. And if we learn, it's, it's still a, a positive forward. If we continue to keep not helping each other out in certain situations, then it's, it'll be a problem. And that's the key that I've said the lads areas they could be better at if each player and the whole everybody got the staff got to coach each other up and take it on board it's a, it's a learning for the next game that it doesn't happen again and I think that's the key in any game you've got to learn from mistakes to get back to your question no one will know they are key moments uh, and goals do change games yeah and Danny Barlow came in for his first start for the club today how did you think his performance went and what was the thinking behind that just more, more legs up front yeah we thought what we thought is we'd get like Danny who's a really good tr tricky player could maybe run at their back four get him between the lines and have a right good I thought he, he done well enough for his debut first time he's had 90 minutes with us he showed some really bright bits of play um, so yeah we were, we were pleased but obviously him himself is disappointed you know, he wants to win with the team, but it was a pleasing performance. Yeah, and just finally, Kidderminster, uh, I know you touched on it, but we've got them this Saturday, they're a full-time side. What are you expecting from Kidderminster and how confident are you that can go to Park, our fans, and get an all-important result? Yeah, we're, we're always confident. We'll go into the game, Kidderminster, full-time side, like you said, had a great run, they're right up there, but we're going to try to get some more points. You know, we'll prepare well, as always. The fans have been outstanding. It's, I don't know how many you'll see out of the day, they're massive away falling, again, excellent, stuck by the lads. And last week at Croft Park on the Friday, they were outstanding. They have been all season. I'm sure the fans will get behind it, and we've got to make sure we improve on today's performance. Thank you very much, Gaffer. Thank you.